Ladies and gentlemen, I just watched Gladiators for the first time, or Gladiator, and um, speed review, and uh, really quickly, to rip off the band-aid immediately, this is the best movie I've watched so far on the channel. You know, and this movie is not a masterpiece simply because masterpieces are impossible, but it comes very close, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. First off, you know, Ridley Scott, I am familiar with a lot of his films. I like a lot of them. I love The Martian a lot. And, uh, but I haven't seen like Blade Runner, haven't seen Prometheus, so maybe I got some catching up to do. With that being said though, Gladiator, by far my favorite movie he's done. And it's not close at all. You know, and I think eventually I'll do a whole like breakdown video of kind of what I go through when I'm reviewing a movie, how I rank it, you know, when I plug it into the tier list, etc, etc. And basically, it comes down to like moments how it makes me feel, and then obviously the overarching story, plot, etc, right? And uh, this movie has everything. It has a great story. It has moments that you can't forget that I literally went on YouTube and I was watching people react to it just so I could relive those moments. And, uh, you know, that's what I think makes a movie great. Especially when you got, like, the soundtrack playing and, you know, you get, like, chills and stuff. This movie does that. Not only does it give you chills, it also can make you cry. I almost cried. I didn't. But uh, if it would have made me cry, it might have possibly moved up to my top three. And you know, what's even really keeping it from my top three? Maybe in a few watches, it will move up to that spot. Who's to say? You know what I mean? But uh, I, just, I really can't compliment the movie enough. The cast is incredible. Russell Crowe, born to play the role. Joaquin Phoenix, the greatest antagonist that I've seen in a movie in a long, long time, simply because I've hated him. I hated him more than I've hated, like, I, I don't even remember the last time I disliked an antagonist as much as him. That's how great he played the role. And, uh, you know, plugging it into the tier list, it's our first peak. And uh, I don't want you guys to take this stuff lightly. I really value my the uh, peer, peak tier, I mean, sorry, I really value it, and uh, I don't want to just be throwing things in there for the hell of it, you know what I mean, this is, I really genuinely do value it, and uh, I won't put anything that I think is subpar, any circumstance, I don't care, you have to earn peak, and uh, this movie, this movie does, if it doesn't, I don't know what will, and um, you know, my only cons with the film really quick the ending was a little bit shaky. It was a little bit shaky. I know, I, I think I said spoilers. I don't even want to spoil it simply because if you haven't watched it, I wouldn't want to ruin this for you. And, uh, you know, that's really it. The ending was a little shaky. If the ending was, like, as sharp as, like, a whiplash ending, you know, for example, this might be the best movie ever made that I've watched. But because it was shaky it kind of moves it a little bit down for me. And, you know, I, I would say the ending mostly, obviously there's some things here and there, you know, action sequences that could be tweaked a little bit, but we're not about to get nitpicky in that regard. The story's incredible. The acting's incredible. Napoleon's out soon. Ridley Scott, please do it justice as you did this movie justice. But until then...